Hey guys, what is going on? It is RC Knockout and I am back with another video. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Nolan and in today's video, I have got my Traxxas slash 4x4 out with me. I'm actually at a place I've never been to before. It's, uh, I think it's called Indiana Dune State Park. So I'm right along uh, Lake Michigan, but I'm in Indiana. I decided to go and purchase paddle tires for my Traxxas slash. These are actually the Proline uh, slingshots. Uh, mounted on the raid wheels and these are the ones that have the removable hexes so I had to screw the hexes on um, But the only reason I went with these over the Traxxas upgrade paddles is because I preferred the look of the wheels That's literally it. It had nothing to do with anything Anything other, aside from liking the raid wheels a little bit better than the Traxxas ones What I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna go ahead get her turned on I'm gonna be running on 3s and We're gonna start ripping around in the sand. This should be a heck of a lot of fun. I think just because of the way the wind comes off of the lake, it's really kind of carved out these divots in the sand. On top of that, people have been walking up and down these hills, clearly. So I really have to keep momentum up, otherwise I will get stuck in the sand because it's not the smoothest along here. But uh, ready guys, here we go. One, two, three, go. See how bumpy it is? There we go. Woo. Bringing her down. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Oh, tipped it. Gotta go get it. Here we go for another launch. Ready? Get set. Go. This might be more X Max type sand, just because uh, the X Max would be able to go over these bumps a lot better. The thing I noticed is I can't turn where the crap. I'm trying to turn to the full right right now. And the thing will not turn at all. Go. See, I'm already high centered. Okay, here we go. Just check out Lake Michigan, guys. It's uh, it's breathtaking, really. I wonder, there's a lot of haze out over the water, though, way out there. I wonder, uh, there has been a lot of haze where I live and around the Midwest. Um, I think because all these uh, forest fires are having out, I don't know if they're having them in California or Washington, but out west they're having fires, and I think it's caused a whole lot of uh, smoke and haze in the air, so that might be what that is. But uh, otherwise, yeah, it's just really beautiful out here. Really enjoy coming out to the sand. Sweating like crazy though, because it's like 90 degrees out already and it's only like 10 a.m., 9.30. How about a rip? Ready? See how easy I get stuck though? I'm getting stuck really easy, which is very frustrating. Um, like I said, the sand just has a lot of uh, like dimpling to it. Like it's not, it's not smooth. If it was smooth like that, then we wouldn't have any issues, but we have all of these divots in it, which is causing a lot of issues since the Traxxas Slash doesn't have the most ground clearance. The belly's rubbing against everything. Makes it very easy to high center this thing. So I got to keep up the momentum, which is also killing the battery. I've already gone through my first battery pack. I've gotten like three minutes worth of video for you guys. Luckily I brought a few more packs, but uh, yeah, she's already gone through one pack, which is crazy. Yeah guys, this was a 5,000 milliamp battery that's already basically dead. For whatever reason, I feel like this Traxxas slash four wheel drive is actually doing worse in the sand than the two wheel drive. Maybe because the two wheel drive just doesn't have that weight over the front. And the two wheel drive also can keep that front end more up because all that weight's in the back so it can keep that front end pushed upward. This one, when I go and spin the tires, the front tires, what they're doing is they're just spinning into the, into the sand and it's just digging divots in the front and the rear. And uh, that's the issue I'm having with the four wheel drive right now. It has nothing to do with having any less clearance. It just has to do with, um, I don't know, maybe I need to not put the uh, paddles on the front. Maybe that would make a difference. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Um, because yeah, I feel like the paddles in the front, it's, it's high center right now on the belly. So I feel like it's hard to keep momentum up because look at how bumpy this is. And I'm sweating like crazy. I apologize, it's so hot out. I just got out of the sun. 
I'm in the shade right now just because it's so freaking hot. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to swap the battery out. I think I have got a, what do I got? Uh, I've got a couple 4,000 milliamp three cell packs that I'm going to swap in and hopefully we'll get a little more run time and I'll be able to get some good footage for you guys. So let me swap that in. I might let it cool down a few minutes. I'll be right back with you guys. They've got these cool little trails through here, so I'm going to try to rip it down this little trail right here. Here we go. Ooh. Tumbled it. Got to go get it. Yeah, definitely going to have to grab it from down there. How about up the hill? I'm pretty sure this thing has a low speed gear in it too, but yeah, it's cogging quite a bit. So back up the hill, guys. Ready? Get set. Yeah, it just, it's not making it. I don't know, the four wheel drive is really struggling on this stuff, guys. You can see it. It's just digging itself a hole. <sighs> Bummer. Oh guys, we got an issue. We're getting some type of gear issue of some sort, I think. You guys can probably hear that. Let me give her a bit of a push start. Here we go. I have it pinned. Looks like we lost rear drive. There's definitely something going on. I can hear something. I don't know if that's diff or what that is. When I spin this tire, you can hear it. Uh, I'm slightly disappointed. I just paid like, how much did I pay? Eight, seven, eight dollars to get in here. I've only gotten like four minutes of video. I'll probably end up uploading this, guys, even if I get hardly a video from it, just because, uh, and hopefully you guys at least applaud my effort, applaud my effort. Because uh, I'm trying my best out here. Stuff just doesn't always work out. And unfortunately, I didn't realize I was heading over here to Indiana. I didn't realize I'd be this close to the dune, so I only had one RC with me. Normally, I'd have a backup RC. Normally, what I would have liked to have done is brought the X-Max or the Summit here. X-Max with the paddles would be awesome. Fortunately, I don't have the X-Max with me. And uh, I wanted to bring the Summit out at some point. Summit would have done better than this without paddle tires, just because it's brushless now. But, uh, you know... You just never know, so I never know which RC to bring with me because I never know exactly where I'm going until like the day of uh, and stuff changes, so. But anyway, guys, if this is the end of the video, go ahead and give her a big thumbs up for me. I would greatly appreciate it. Sorry that I didn't get you guys the content I was aiming for. Um, but don't worry, guys, because I'll be back. We'll be back out again in the sand dunes, no doubt. And, uh, and I look forward to seeing you guys in another video. Take it easy.